Okay, so we have a blender open. This is a default blender that you should get when you open a blender. Just a basic cube and the lights and the camera. If you're unsure about uh, blender, just the basics, you, you, you can check out um, our interface overview that we went through this. So sweet. Now we want to import our, our Photoshop sketch or just our sketch rather that we done. So in our previous lecture, it wasn't like a Photoshop tutorial. Just um, you can use any software you prefer to do your sketches. What we want to do, we want to snap this in the right uh, orthographic view. So we can cause we, we, we done like a sketch in the side view. So it will make sense just to make sure that we're in right orthographic view. Right now we're in the user perspective, this is perspective mode if you rotate. Yeah, you see that. So to go to the right or to revenue, there's a there's a, a few ways to do that, but I'll rather use um, this way. If you hold an auto option on your keyboard and just middle mouse, it'll snap over there when you hold an alt or option. And then you see over here on top, it says uh, top left corner, right orthographic view. Now we know that we're in the right orthographic view. I can hide my cube in this case because uh, it's kind of bugging me just toggling that eyedropper there and then what we want to do just uh, drag your reference on the viewport on the, the, the 3d viewport or you can just hold on shift or shift a on your keyboard and then you can just go to image and then you load reference image it should pretty much do the same thing but I prefer doing this way and then I'll uh, if you go to the center, there's this yellow dot over here, orange, and then I can just drag this uh, to the to the bottom over here, just roughly like so. Just giving it that um, like so. Using our scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and then shift and middle mouse to to pan just to zoom in, and that we can see this more clearly. So once we have our reference opened, uh, ideally you would want to not select it. So you can go down to the filters here yeah, and choose this arrow. And then I'll just make it not to be selectable. If I can. Okay, just move it to collection, press M, new collection, and just select this now. So this, this is the reference, we can double click over here and press RF for reference. So you, you can move any object to a new collection, collections are these groups over here. If you click on the object and press M on your keyboard, you can see move to collection, you can create a new collection and you can name a collection right there. Sweet. So we have our reference collection, which uh, we just turn this off, so we cannot select it anymore. Sweet. Now, what we want to do ideally, we want to do some basic block outs, some basic outlines for our shape. I remove drag Shift A, meshes, and go to cube. It enters at the center, which is fine. If we click on the model, on the cube. Press G. Okay, now I can't. Okay, it's make sure that the cube is over here. Oh, sorry guys, because we already have a cube, so there's no need to add a cube. So if you right click, you can delete. Go over here and just open this cube that you turned off. Select this fella. Press G for grab, which is you, you can use to move. Like so. And let me see. Press S to scale it down just so that it like covers the rib cage like so it doesn't have to be that precise and then press G just move it at the center and these are just basic block out and we can I can also press shift D to do a duplicate and just move it like so Select and press S on your keyboard to scale that guy down. Press G 
Like so just doing these basic block outs of the, the the body shape and then again I'm press shift D that it covers their head and S to scale it down press R to rotate like so and then G just to move that guy like that so having all these locks over here and then selecting the middle one you see it's highlighted shift D to do a duplicate and just move it out like so and just probably scale it like that press R to rotate press G to move it like so so this is just the body we not doing the the legs for now so what I want to do I want to just align these so they, they probably sit um, where our edges are right now we can't see properly so I'm gonna select one of them and I'm gonna press tab to add to edit mode you'll see over here changing if I press tab again you see I'm in object mode I press tab again I'm in edit mode so edit mode is where we can edit our vertices and faces faces we press uh, edges and then faces so if we press one two three so one is for vertices and then uh, two is for edges and the three is for faces or polygons if you want to um, switch between those very very fast so sweet I'm gonna press one on my keyboard to enter the point selection so in order to select the, the other side called this is a cube we need to be in wireframe mode if you hold on Z or Z on your keyboard this um, menu pops up and if I shift to the left you will see uh, now I can see my sketch everything's in wireframe mode now I can click and drag the the points and press G just move them roughly over here click and drag and press G to move that inwards and also uh, probably over here also just roughly doesn't have to be precise guys again um, and then we can add edge loops to cover the section over here to add an edge loop we need a line over here so you press ctrl or command R and then you see this yellow line popping up just click and press escape to accept now we have an edge we can select these vertices click and drag press G on your keyboard just move that inwards like so and then highlight this one also press G move them inwards like so and then I would also want to add an edge loop over here Control R click and drag like so and then I'm just click and select press G sweet uh, click and drag like so same process and then I'll probably just move this guy if I can to the top doesn't have to be precise it's not like a modeling it's just a base where we just creating everything so if I want to edit these other boxes I need to to exit edit mode press tab on your keyboard select the other box and then press tab again so I can edit it and now I can edit these verts like so um, press G select I probably need edge edge loop over here I'm gonna press ctrl R add the edge loop select click and drag press G and select that vert and then I probably need an edge loop over here press ctrl R like so press escape select this vertice and oh it doesn't matter because we have that box I'll probably just uh, delete that one G smooth it topwards and this fellow over here which press G you guys get the, the gist of this press tab to exit edit mode if I select this box this cube because we don't need it right now and press X I can delete you see delete and press select now we deleted that guy 
now select the last one and I'll press tab to edit edit mode and just move the vertices like so just roughly um, just moving them like that Control R press escape select the vertices just move them downwards again and we have that like that so we have our rough base um, body which this is not uh, please guys this is not just uh, like modeling and stuff it's just for us to get a base for our scout if I if if I pan around now you can see we have this huge box over here of cubes which I can go to the front view if I can hold on alt to snap it press Z and then you go back to solid mode and exit uh, this edit mode and click and drag and select everything we can probably just merge everything together cause control command J to merge everything now we only have one cube and then I can go to the scale over here and then click this yellow red I mean box and just scale this guy down a tad doesn't have to be uh, precise or anything there's no sizing going on for now it's just uh, it's a bit too much that and then yeah so we have our basic blocking out of the body which will be useful once we start with uh, everything so that's that and if I select this or the tab now I, I manipulate these points she just uh, like so just joining everything together once we gonna be doing the zero meshing and then we can get that So that's it for the body and I'll see you guys in the next lecture where we're going to be doing the tail and the fore and the hind limbs. Thank you guys for your time and I'll see you guys in the next class.